power wash, salt and cream railing. I know it's a little loud out here, but I want to show you when you're done with your job, when you're using the proportionate booster system, what you need to do. So we've had this, and I was kind of already messed with it a little bit, but we had the system. So we had our water fully open, soap was it, you know, two. We're going to go ahead and close that because we're done for the day. And soap or bleach was basically it too. I just put it back there. I'm going to open that bleach all the way up. See how all the way, so it's all the way down now. Now this is our flush valve. So we're going to actually have it come through here. Instead of from the bleach line, we're going to pull it from the water. This is already open down here. Now you can plumb this differently, but the top of this, you'll have a bleach and you'll have a water. So we're done right now. We'll start reeling up the hose, but I'm going to go ahead and just turn that on. Start pulling water. And it actually looks like we're not sitting plumb properly. Hold on one second. That's going to go ahead and start sucking from our machine. Give me just a moment. But you can see that's going to go ahead and flush the system. Now we're going to go ahead and start sucking water and bleach, or sorry, water and water. So even though that's completely open, it's to the water side. That's open, we're pulling water. The soup is closed. That's pretty much it. So now once we've let that, it's nice running clean. You can even, if you've still got a force fed, Go ahead and flush the thing with force fed water, but you do want to make sure you take a few moments to flush out your bleach valve of your proportionate. So, again, we've got just this is a, uh, a banjo micro valve. Um, I got mine from Russ, you can get them from wherever. Uh, so, now I'm going to go ahead and close that valve, close this valve, move it so we're actually pulling from our water, coming from our water tank just a little bit more. Uh, depending on what kind of you know property this is just a stone gravel driveway so it doesn't really matter but if you're on an asphalt driveway throw a five gallon bucket underneath that while you're flushing the system just that way you don't end up with any uh, extra residue or whatever there because um, they should have just water at that point but you still you know might leave some residue so throw a five gallon bucket there uh, that's been good we've been flushing now for two minutes so we shut off the booster shut my valves Good there and there. All that's supposed to be. Now, right now, this is actually supposed to be my water line. Usually, throw a cap on that. Just our jumper hose that comes from the inside of the box. That's it. So, have a great day, guys. See ya.